Welcome to part 4 of this video guide on how to create a searchable report. In the previous video, we learned how to build a web form to input data. Now let's build a report data page that allows us to output the data. I'll choose tabular for my layout and continue. Once again, I'm going to select my contacts table as the data source table because that's where all of my data resides. I'll choose the same style blue and same localization English and hit next. Here I will choose to build a search form and I'd like to display my results directly underneath the search form. I'll also like to display my results on the initial load, meaning when the browser loads, we'll be able to see both the search form and data underneath it all at once. On the next screen, I'll choose first and last name as my two search fields. You can include as many search fields as you'd like. We'll now need to configure the properties of each of our search fields. I'll choose contains as my comparison type for both the first name and last name so that we can have a broader results range, meaning if I type letter A, it'll return results that contain that letter. On the next screen, I'll include a few fields in my results page. Let's have five or six fields. The rest of the fields will include in the details page. Should users be able to edit data on the results page? You can if you want to, but I'll go ahead and leave these unchecked. I'm not going to make any changes to my results page fields, but if you want to, you could include other elements as part of the results page if needed. I'll display 25 contacts per page, but you can modify that number to something else if desired. Let's go ahead and enable a details page for each record. Let's include all the fields in our details view. And finally, let's at least for now, leave all the fields as display only. In other words, read only. From here, I'll go ahead and click preview to review my data page. Notice how it reads no records found. That's because our table at the moment has zero entries. Let's add one record via the form that we created in the prior video. I'll go back to Caspio and click finish to save my changes. You should now be able to see two data pages listed. I'll preview my form and quickly fill out a few fields. Let's say Sarah for first name and Smith for last name. Upon submission, we should now have this information inside the contacts table. Let's go back to Caspio and preview the report. You'll now be able to see that contact listed. As you continue to add contacts via the form, you'll also find those entries on the report. Thank you for watching the video on how to build a report. Join me in the next video where we learn how to create a user table. I'll see you there.